Harvey Baggert here, coming to you live from the north, more specifically. We are in Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. And even more specifically than that, we are in front of Wizard Quest, the brand new location of Wizard Quest. Now, Wizard Quest is an attraction that has been here in Wisconsin Dells for some time. I visited it years and years ago. It's a really cool interactive adventure where you travel through a real physical space occupied by fantasy creatures, wizards, goblins, and the like. But uh, recently, when I came here, um, I think I was here last year in Wisconsin Dells, and they actually had a new location under construction. Um, it used to be down the street, down that way, next to Ripley's, but they've moved it to what appears to be a much larger location here on the other end of the main strip. Uh, it was under construction last time, but it is now open. So I figured we would head inside and go on an adventure here at Wizard Quest. So please, follow me. Here along the street, you actually see a door here with little peek holes in it. And open this up and peek in to Wizard Quest. Oh, there's there's some there's some wizards. Peek into this window here, and it looks like we got oh a little goblin there. Oh, see a throne here and some statues of some of the creatures that we may encounter in the world of Wizard Quest. A little deer there with some interesting antlers. A fairy, a fairy right there. And then I don't know what kind of a what kind of a creature is that? Is it like a pixie maybe? Alright so they're giving us a tablet here. This is where we actually play the game and get our instructions from. Also have this UV flashlight that I guess you can use to find some clues. As we enter, it says watch your head and mind your feet. You don't want to step on a gnome. But uh, so here we head inside. Oh. So we enter, okay. These are the different realms here. One and pass through its portal. Your objective is to complete as many quests as you can within the time limit. Lead the way. Let's go find a quest giver. So we have to pick one of these portals and it says to find a quest giver. Let's uh, head into the blue portal here. Oh, it looks like we are underwater. You can see the lily pads above us. Oh, look at this. It's a little goblin or fairy hugging a fish there. It gets catching fish underwater. Oh, this is Phibius here. So we tap the screen to begin the quest introduction. Hello, traveler. I wonder if you could help me. Sure. I have a dear friend who visits me often, but I haven't seen her for some time, and I'm beside myself with worry. I will trade this gold ball, a gift from her, just to make sure she's safe. To activate this quest, tap the quest button on your tablet okay. and choose this symbol. So choose this symbol to start this quest. What will you trade to make sure? Okay, so he said he would trade a gold ball. Let's go. I'm much obliged. Her name is Lily and she lives in the largest tree in Oak Hollow. Her aunt roommate may know something about Lily's disappearance. So the largest tree in Oak Hollow is what we're looking for. Find Mama Ant the largest tree in Oak Hollow. Oh, look at this. We got this giant catfish down here. And then this koi mermaid. She's colored like a koi fish. That is really Cool. Alright, so we cross through here to the Earth Realm. We gotta find an ant in a tree. This is the 
wood woman right there. See the tree formation here? It's almost like the Statue of Liberty in a way. Look in this tree here. What's that? Okay. See some sort of goblin creature there. I'm not seeing, um, was it Mother Ant that we're looking for? So we're, I guess we're in Wispy Thicket and we're looking for Oak Hollow. Okay, according to this, we're entering the Great Hall here. Okay, I think, I think we're lost. I don't think we're supposed to be in a castle right now. Although look at this cool door here. Can this be opened? Oh, it's like a bookshelf. Interesting. But we need to go, we need to go find uh, Oak Hollow. Okay, I was given some advice that Oak Hollow is up this way. Up these stairs. A seemingly endless hallway right here. I think it's this direction we're supposed to go towards. Oh, where am I? See, there's like a airship or dirigible right there. Some sort of ferry floating. Oh, wow. This little tiny clockwork city here. And look in here at this clockwork man here. It's pretty amazing. It looks like he's got an owl in his stomach. I guess that's pulling the controls. So the owl has this robot mech suit. All right, still looking for Oak Hollow. <laughs> it's, uh, it is disorientating. There's just so many different directions and ways that you can go, but we'll continue walking down this hallway. Oh, this, this must be Oak Hollow in here. You can see some sort of tree creature here. There's like an elf, an elf man standing right here. But uh, we need to find the largest tree in Oak Hollow. Is this, is this right here? Is this the largest tree in Oak Hollow? I actually have a little snack bar here in the back of Oak Hollow. So we can go up these stairs here. We peek in this window here. Oh, looks like there's like a fairy, a fairy ball going on there. But I still don't see Mother Ant. I almost feel like I maybe need to get up inside the trees. Let's see if we can find a way. Look at this big, crazy face right here. Big old mouth. Maybe we can maybe put a little cave in here. Oh my gosh, look at this troll monster right here. No climbing on the troll, by the way. Check him out. Wow. So yeah, I still cannot figure out how to get up to the the uh, balcony here, but uh, I'm gonna check inside this uh, this tree. Okay, there's a journal here on the table, and it's signed by Lily. I think Lily is actually who we're looking for in our current quest. Oh, here we go. Here is the ants. Let's see which one, which one is Mother Ant? Is that Mother Ant right there? What kind of hat is Mama Ant wearing? So we see Mama Ant there. She's wearing like a little green hat, much like this one. So Greetings. when the tip of the pot meets the tea, a new passage you will see. When the tip of the pot meets the tea, a new passage you will see. When the tip of the pot meets the tea, a new passage you will see. So we'll tip the teapot there. Oh, a secret passage. Let's go in here. Okay, inside the tree. We're gonna walk up these rock stairs. 
Ooh, it's a little, little bit claustrophobic in here, but I guess this is how we needed to get up to the top. More fairies up there, and look at this. There's a deer creature down here. So this is Alice, Lily's friend, that we see right there. So Lily said she's being stalked by Tigbeard. And then it says Tigbeard may have something to do with Lily's disappearance. Who is Tigbeard? It says locate Tigbeard in the wispy thicket. Uh-oh, I don't know where we just ended up. And check out this creature here. I have no idea what sort of creature that is. He's got like monkey feet and monkey hands. Very interesting. It's like all these bird cages hanging here so people can climb up inside of the bird cages here. Okay, found a familiar area. So doing a little bit of backtracking till we get back to the wisps. We're back here in the wisp thicket. This is, I think this is who we're looking for. This is Tigbeard. All right, so we have located Tigbeard. You tell them, I'm here, I'm there. Where it's a patch that signifies he belongs to a particular guild. Assemble the correct pieces to replicate the patch. Patch right there. It does have a distinctive patch. It looks like it is a combination of an eyeball. An eye, okay, an eyeball and a cue. I think that's, I think that's it. So we will submit that. It says, is Lily, is Lily lying here? Yes, Lily is here as you can see. She is in a catatonic state. So Tigbeard here is telling us that Lily is here but she is in a catatonic state. So we look down here, there we can see Lily unconscious in the nook of the tree there. Lily, okay, so he is actually a, uh, a good guy. He's here to protect Lily. He is some sort of goat creature, but uh, he protects uh, people that live in trees. Let's go to the Great Hall in Delver's Castle and find a book called Curse of the Blue Moon Fairies. All right, so here we're here. This is okay. This is actually the book we are looking for Curse of the Blue Moon Fairies. So we gotta see uh, what they turn into during the uh, blue moon. So apparently they turn into uh, hideous hags, it says, with uh, tremendous magical power. This is what does a blue moon fairy turn into? Turns into a hag. Is find a blue moon fairy in the Fey Harbor of Air Realm. Naturally, the Air Realm is back upstairs. Okay, so here in the Air Realm, we have located a blue moon fairy. So we have two choices here. We can let the blue moon fairy live and abandon Lily, or we can obtain a soul gem, abolish the blue moon fairy, and save Lily. I mean, we've, we, we've gone this far trying to save Lily, so I think we're gonna continue on. It says, okay, I remember seeing a soul gem in Delzer's map room. That'd be a good place to check. Right, we're in the great hall of Delzer Castle. I'm not sure where the map room is. Let's peek here behind the fireplace. Oh, geez, okay. Um, I don't think this is who we need right now, but that's a cool little creature. Okay, so apparently the map room is upstairs in Delzer's castle. Oh, here we are. I think this is the map room. At least there's, appears to be maps. Oh, look at that weird owl creature up there. I love all the weird creatures. So, okay. Here's a map of the entire area. So, uh, it says we're supposed to look for the soul gem. That's the soul gem right here. We match up to the soul gem on the tablet. All right, Blue Moon Fairy, I'm sick of your crap. It says tap the gem to capture the soul of the Blue Moon Fairy. No! All right, so we have completed a quest. 
So yes, we've completed a quest here, and apparently there's looks like there's tons of different quests and different pathways. So very, very, very much like revisit value here. You can keep coming back and completing different quests. But I think we'll just take some time now to just maybe walk around and just enjoy uh, the the immersive environment that we have here. Head down this seemingly endless hallway and see what's at the end. Come back to Oak Hollow here. Look at this, uh, this is Ethbart. He is a giant grasshopper creature that lives in this hut. There's this little guy back here. This is Rushi, some sort of mushroom-like creature. So back in the castle here. That's when you go downstairs, you enter the fire realm. I don't think we've been in the fire realm yet up to this point. So we head downstairs into the cellar. Oh, what is in here? Look at the boar's head there. There's skeletons. Oh, and look at this. This is some sort of enchanted toilet. So yeah, from this bathroom area, we enter the fire realm. Oh, spooky in here. Look at the skulls. Some sort of dungeon cage in here. Peek through. Look in the window here. You can see the there's dwarves in there. Looks like they're maybe forging weapons in the fire. Sort of phoenix-like creature there. All these little huts that you can poke into. See the figures in there. Here in this cage, this woman's dragging this wild beast. It's like some sort of boar. She's got a very mean look on her face. She's dragging it out of this enclosure here. You can see the baby boar creatures on the ground. Got so much area here to explore. What's Oh, a giant flaming spider. Oh my gosh. Look at that beast. There's so many terrifying beasts here. We head here from the fire realm into the deep of the water realm. I think we started in the water realm, but this is the deeper section. You can see the kraken tentacles right there. So we see this sort of submarine like device. See the pilot of the submarine right there. And oh my gosh, I didn't even notice it at first. Look at the Kraken's mouth there. Oh wow. It's the Kraken beast. Attacks the submarine here. You can see there's a character there called Glimbob. Glimbob right there. As we head upstairs here, I don't know if this will take us to the upper part of the water realm. See the, the giant snail here. See bubbles floating above us. And this is Selkie here, some sort of water man. Oh, just look at that creature there. That is a super weird fish. This is maybe the craziest merman I've ever seen. Instead of a fish tail, he is a giant shrimp. He is a giant shrimp man. And look at his his hair and eyebrows are all barnacles so he's got barnacle head he's got a shrimp for a body he's definitely lost the merman lottery see these little fish spirits here riding on fish you absolutely love all the fascinating fish fish creatures in uh, in this area oh what is this area in here see a statue of Neptune there oh I love this guy here this big turtle creature there kind of got a giant shell like a uh, almost looks like a starfish very fascinating notice the treasures they have here I think these are supposed to be things that maybe they've retrieved from the from the world up above 
And a little Easter egg here, of course we are in Wisconsin, so they have a Green Bay Packer helmet up there. So we've reached Swindley's shop here. I guess that is Swindley right there. And I guess we can purchase things, but we have to use this QR code with our tablet. All right, so we've scanned the QR code. Here are some things that we can purchase. We have 27 coins, which they call glimmers. So the lesser relic of time that we can afford that. I don't know what, are you sure you want to buy this? Absolutely sure that I would like to buy that. So we're gonna hit yes. Oh, it says, wow, lesser relic of time. Congratulations, that's an epic item. Happy questing, mortal. What does it do though? Sea monster right there. There's a door here. If we can open it up. Apparently this is Latrina. This uh, character apparently eats rats. And uh, to solve her quest, you've got to uh, tell her where the rat's nest is. You can see these little creatures here. They're racing on snails and turtles and frogs. Okay, we're back where I started here. We have the koi mermaid. Didn't notice this little pathway before though. Oh, so many, like I love all the little uh, weird and creepy creatures you come across. So come back to the beginning chamber. Let me check out the fire realm again. This might be the top part of the fire realm. Oh no, the fire realm I guess exists only in the basement. Oh, I didn't see this before. Some sort of dinosaur-like creature right there. All right, we're gonna try another quest. We got Zali, the salamander monster here, and uh, we're gonna see what he wants. One of my babies has wandered away and I cannot find him. Oh, no, I left baby. the nest for only a moment. Only a moment. Can you please help me? I'll try. I will give you a rare gem if you'll bring him back to me. We've got to use the UV flashlight to try to find where the baby salamanders left uh, their nest here. So, oh, there we go. Got the, the footprints here. There's five footprints. So one, two, three, four, five. Now five footprints. That looks right. It says the baby salamander was definitely here. We should follow the footprints where they are leading. All right, so we're supposed to use our UV flashlight to look around the dragon's skull here. Okay, looks like they headed right into the dragon's mouth. Oh, there's some. We got two footprints. All right, we're back into the cellar. Let's see if there's salamander footprints anywhere. Okay, none on the toilet, that's good. Oh, there's some. Makes like they went upstairs. All right, back in the castle. Let's see if we can locate any salamander prints. Aha, there we go. So apparently if you get too many questions wrong, you run out of essence. So you have to refill at these essence stations here. So this is just so you can't just, I guess, guess nonstop instead of actually finding the things. Oh no, you actually have to answer a riddle to uh, to to get the essence back, it says, "I have no city. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? I have no idea." Okay, apparently there's two different types of ways to get the essence back. There's an easier one here. We'll try that riddle. It says, "What has six faces, but does not wear makeup? Yeah. Has 21 eyes, but cannot see. What is it?" Oh my gosh, I don't know. All right, with a little help from the outside world. Determine the answer is dice. That is correct. Okay, I got a little bit of essence back. That's the essence bar, I guess. You need that to uh, to keep continuing on. Okay, back to our quest there. There's three salamander feet. All right, so again, searching for more salamander feet. Ah, bingo. Uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna have to crawl in this tiny space. I don't know that I can actually even fit in here. 
Oh no. Oh no, I jammed my head in enough to see this little potato monster eating salamanders. Maybe we don't have to tell her. Swindley may have a pet sal salamander for sale. <laughs> What do you tell the salamander mother the truth of what happened? Or do you purchase a replacement? It's like when your pets die and your parents find a replacement. That's pretty dishonest. No, that's a good idea. So I guess we'll be honest and tell her the truth. Let's go back to the mother and tell her what happened. All right, back here, we have to tell her that we're sorry that her baby didn't make it. Come on, baby. It says, my baby was eaten. No. Oh, this is sad. It says, thank you for being brave enough to tell me. I would have given you an epic gym if you brought him back to me safely. Instead, I'll give you one of my unhatched eggs. Uh, Ask her to raise her ch raise her child for her. Just noticed this clock here. There appears to be something behind it. Oh, there's a very worried goblin right there. Wandering through this passage, over right here, we reach a gate with a leprechaun back there, but look, we have some sort of rainbow slide here. All right, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Supposedly the suit of armor has a button on him somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, he opened a secret chamber here. secret library in here. This is some sort of bedroom in here. Oh, look at this guy right here. His name is Filch. Looks like he makes sock puppets. It's the eyeballs there in his little sewing kit. Okay, I think I opened up a mirror maze here possibly. Oh no, not another mirror maze. Seems like no matter where I go, or where I end up, I'm always finding myself trapped in another mirror maze. Oh, you see there's another me back there. So I'm trying to find my way here through the mirror maze. Looks like there's sort of a button right here. Oh, there we go. Some sort of fairy-like creature in there. Oh, it's gone. These stairs take you up here. It's the maze of bird cages. You have this bird-like creature in here. Lots of interesting different versions of fairies in here. And the Grim Reaper tells us to exit this way through the gift shop. This little village here is a gift shop where they sell various fantasy items. Little mermaids there, fairies. Some various Wizard Quest t-shirts here. So thank you for joining me here in Wisconsin Dells at Wizard Quest. Now, I loved the original Wizard Quest, um, but this is a vast improvement over the original. It just gives you more area to roam around in, um, larger areas to work with more characters, more just more ideas. Um, really, really amazing. They've completely restructured how they do it. I think the old place they used to give you, you picked one quest at the beginning and you worked your way through that quest. Here you wander around, you get different quests from different characters and you can do overlapping quests at the same time. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I would definitely, you know, you can just walk around and observe the interactive environment, the immersive environment. But I would definitely encourage you to do the quests because the quests will teach you how to uh, open secret areas and enter secret areas that you wouldn't otherwise be able to uh, be able to to access. It's a lot of fun. I've never seen anything like this. There are some other attractions that have interactive role playing elements, but this is just a, a the, the the imagination that has gone into this, the creativity the charm I, I there's nothing like it I would definitely recommend if you come to Wisconsin Dells please check out Wizard Quest because that it is a super super fun attraction uh, if you like these videos please subscribe it'll let you know when new videos are coming out and uh, it helps me out uh, these videos I travel around the United States filming roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and other fun stuff I've been to the 48 continental United States and continue to travel um, if you'd like to help uh, support the channel, 
consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling five different styles of enamel pins in the Etsy shop. All that information is in the description of this video. And all that goes to help keeping this train on the track, this boat in the water realm, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.